Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. This is episode six and in this video I'm going to be sorting out my suspension. This uh, coilover fitting video is going to be uh, a little bit different to the last one I did on my last van. Um, I have actually already installed uh, the coilovers. Um, I'm going to be talking about them. I'm going to be letting you know why I chose to go with the Starts Plus kit again and that I didn't want to go for another kit um, budget wise, etc. Um, and then I'm just going to show you the process and where they should be correctly fitted, especially on the rears. There's a lot of people um, experiencing knocking noises, um, and I believe that's just because the install isn't. The right way around so we'll have a look at the correct way that they should be situated on the van and we'll have a look at the front i'll guide you through what needs to be undone what needs to be taken off and then i'll show you obviously what it's supposed to look like right so this is the stance plus kit uh it's in its box still i'm going to get it out in a moment we'll take a look at it again um, these are the Miley, Miley, Mealy top mounts. Uh, it's the T6 version. So let me just move these out of the way. I'm going to tell you about these little puppies. Uh, so this piece in here is like is the bearing that actually sits on top of the suspension. That bit sits in there too, and then this bit sits on the top. Now you can do a top mount mod um, which I'm not going to do in this video um, but I may do it in another video I'm going to show you uh, a way that you can do it yourself rather than having to buy some of these um, cut down so the outer edge is cut down is milled down uh, which then means that this can fit inside this top mount um, so these are the top mounts I'm going to be using and happy days and then these guys are the drop links I'm going to be using. So these are the, again, the Mealy, Miley, Mealy, whoever they are, uh, HD ones. So they're the newer ones now. Uh, they've got like in here, there's a, a locking point that you can put a spanner in so you can help do these up and untighten these, uh, which is handy. They don't have a um, spline or an Allen key hole in the top anymore. Uh, so these guys are a little bit easier to use than perhaps the old ones. So that is the extra little add-ons that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, as to where I've got them from and you guys if you want to do that to your van too you can pick them up. A couple of bolts, I'll tell you about them in a second. Right so let's have a look in here. What we've got in here is two adjusters or one adjuster and then one locking nut uh, and then on the top here I'm going to just talk to you about this little setup so this is like an eyelet knock locking nut it's got like a little bit of rubber in there so that eventually when it goes down it gets stuck and it's really tricky and it doesn't loosen itself off but what we're going to be doing is so to show you this so this bit goes on first and it sits on it's like the um do -do 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 the bearing for the top man this bit goes on next this bit goes on then what you need to be doing is removing the two bolts one for each side off your old suspension setup now i've already done it i've got well i haven't already done it it's, it's up in the air behind me. I've already managed to get hold of a couple of these just so that I don't have to take the other suspension apart. I don't have the suspension clamps, although if you use a impact driver uh, with a 21 mil, I think, you can literally like blast it off really quickly and not have this going. But I didn't want to risk any of that malarkey. But this needs to go on the top. Now, you need to be able to get it up nice and tight. And the reason being, when it's in the van, 
This part is going to go up inside and it rests on this main rubber mount uh, on the top mounts inside the van. And there's a small piece of rubber again which fits over here, which is the perfect size so that this gap doesn't uh, cause any issues in the van. All right, so this nut is really, really crucial that it goes back in. Then, when you come to do them up inside, you can use this locking nut, okay? So we're not gonna use that for the moment, so I'm gonna put that somewhere safe because I'm gonna need that. But that is gonna be basically the setup that goes in the vehicle. Now, a good idea to help you get this top bolt done up is to put a bit of tension on the spring by using the adjuster at the top. And by hand, okay, I can actually get this done up pretty tight. And now I need to use a tool just to give me a little bit of hand. So these are both ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is roughly set out the height that I'm gonna aim for uh, while it's off the van, so it's a little bit easier to adjust. So, in the kit, you get one of these little spanners, but if you have the chance to purchase a second one of some description or have one laying around, you're going to need them in order to be able to lock this off. So, we're going to now adjust this. So, let me get this the right way. Get it lower. So once we've got it to where we want it, so I've basically matched that. That's about an inch, inch drop uh, or inch left on the um, adjuster, as it were. Uh, is to use a couple of these and to just literally tweak up those locking lamps at the bottom. Let's get them on the van. Okay, the first step is to remove this seal and underneath this slam panel you want to be taking out that cover and this cover. To do that, on this side there's two torque screws, there's one there and there's one over here. And on this side, there's one under there, and there's one under there. I think they're a 30, so T30, and take, remove that panel, and that panel. That is so you can gain access to the nuts on the top mount. Next step is to loosen up the wheel bolts whilst the van is on the floor. Once you've done that, you can jack it up using the jacking point. Once you've done that and you've got space to spin the wheel, take all the bolts out, take the wheel off. If you haven't got any axle stands, Safety wise, use your wheel. Let's bring you in and show you what's going on. What I'm going to use is a, I suppose, a breaker bar so I can point to things rather than get my arm in the way. Okay, so the first step is to release the drop mounts. Okay, so you want to be taking off this bolt at the top and leaving the bolt at the bottom done up. Next step is to remove the two bolts that hold the strut in place. Once you've done that, remove all of your cables from around the old suspension strut. Next step is to remove the nut that holds the drive shaft in place. You don't want to be taking the nut completely off. You want to be leaving it on the uh, threads a little bit, uh, two or three turns, so that you make sure that when you're hitting, if you do need to hit this to remove it, that you're not hitting the actual uh, shaft itself, 
um, there's a bit of protection for the threads. Now you want to take the steering link out. So release that bolt. You may well need a specific tool to go in there, but you should be able to, with a bit of um, hammer in it, etc., knock on that and it should just drop out. Next step is to remove this bolt. I don't know if you can see where my finger is. There's uh, almost like a hook on the suspension. So that is obviously dropped to its lowest point. And you need to be able to prise these two parts open slightly to help you get the old suspension out. Suspension goes in top first. Put the little secure nut on the top, just quick, light, lightly. Um, you don't want to be um, trying to tighten that up yet because everything's going to spin round. You want to drop the bottom of the suspension mount into the hub. Get that in, secure it with the nuts, put your drop link back on, make sure that this bolt's back on, and make sure that this bolt's back on. Do up your drive shaft bolt, set your suspension height. If you haven't done that already, you can still that do that now on the van. It is doable, but it obviously is a lot easier on a workbench. Put your wheel back on. So a little tip before you lower the band down, if you're wanting to get them a little bit tighter, is to spin the wheel the opposite way first and then to apply pressure. Slowly put it back on the ground. And make sure your wheel nuts are nice and tight. Once you've done that and you've got the van back on the ground, you can do up your bolts for your top mounts that are inside there. And there, you'll find it a lot easier because the, the weight of the van on the ground. Just going to clarify a couple of bits uh, on the rears for those of you that have been struggling with perhaps um, noises and stuff coming from the rear end of the Stance Plus kit using my little prodder. The adjuster needs to be on the top. On top of the adjuster, before you put it in, there is a small rubber, um, almost like a rubber washer really, um, about this well it's the same diameter as the adjuster that goes on first then the adjuster then the coil to change the strut it's really quite simple there's only two bolts first bolt is here so you want to remove that one the second bolt is a little bit trickier to get to but it's just at the top of the strut in here once you've released those bolts you will notice that the um, you will notice that this drops slightly it's not going to drop to the floor it's just going to drop slightly because obviously the shock should I say is holding it in place and then fit the new one, fit the coil, making sure that the adjuster is on the top. And that's it guys. Um, a massive thank you to everyone that's currently subscribed. Uh, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, just click the subscribe button. I'm guessing it's that one. So if you haven't subscribed, just hit the little bell button as well and get notifications of when I've got some more videos up and coming. Episode 7 is on its way. I'm going to be installing a split charge kit underneath the passenger seat. I'll go into more detail on that in the video as to why I've gone for the passenger seat and not the driver's seat. So yeah, 
I hope this video has been useful. It wasn't an install video. I haven't um, stripped the van down and step by step and, and that sort of malarkey. The video would be, again, 25 minutes or however long the last video I did was. So I just wanted to make it quick, simple, and as detailed as I could without having to take ages filming it for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs, and I'll see you all soon.